All right, guys, Gemini, back with another video, and thank you for checking the channel out. I think you're gonna enjoy this video, and uh, let's get into it here. Now, story goes, my buddy, the Wiz, has been bugging me to do this video for like probably a good solid year. And finally, I was on Facebook talking to the Wiz, and I says, uh, "Hey, dude, I need some video ideas for the weekend. I want to record some videos for the weekend." Uh, get them done because I'll be busy working. So the Wiz says, dude, you got to do Desert Island DVDs. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I think it's time to do the Desert Island DVDs. So uh, thank you to the Wiz for the idea. And Wiz, you are now worthy of fighting me for the NWA World Heavyweight Championship title. Yeah! Okay, for reals. Uh, Ten uh, WWE DVDs that if I was stuck on a desert island I would pick these 10 now uh, you have to you have to keep this in mind just because these are 10 DVDs that if I was stuck on a desert island um, it doesn't necessarily mean they're the best DVDs but y you'll see as we go here in the video that these are the 10 DVDs that I think would keep me most entertained and satisfy uh, different needs so let's get into it one uh, since I'm on a desert island and I don't know how I have electricity or anything like that because there's no one else around. But for video sake, we'll, we'll say that I'm on a desert island and I have electricity somehow. And I'm able to plug in a DVD player. So 10 DVDs that would satisfy my needs. If no one else in the world was coming to save me, like a Gilligan's Island type of shit, these are the 10 I'd pick. Uh, first one I'd pick is uh, Mr. Perfect. And the reason why I would pick this is because I'd want to go back and watch some old WWF and re just remind myself of how great Mr. Perfect was and how great WWF was in the late 80s and uh, early 90s and maybe it would keep me happy and keep me from uh, wanting to do that thing Tom Hanks did in Castaway where he wanted to jump off the um, uh, rock or whatever it was or hang himself whatever it was Mr. Wilson another one uh, I picked uh, Ric Flair the definitive collection I think this one would would uh, definitely keep me entertained, especially watching old Ric Flair and uh, Harley Race matches on there from like 83. That would keep me happy and it'd keep me from, <coughs> you know, since I'm on a desert island. Now, the next one's going to be an odd choice, but look, here's the deal. I'm on a desert island. There's no women there. <laughs> There's no people there. You're going to need to see some girls. It's, I mean, you're lonely, so... What better uh, choice than to pick Vivas Las Divas of the WWE, Muy Caliente. Now, you're looking for shit that's going to keep you entertained on the desert island. Well, you, obviously, male, you need to see females. And same time I picked uh, Trish Stratus, same thing. You're going to want to see some females. And she'll keep you entertained all day long. And then, of course, you got WrestleMania 17. I had to pick this one just to think about it. I'm on an island. I'm depressed. Um, I want to relive something cool when I wasn't on an island, like being at WrestleMania 17, like I was. So I picked 17, and then uh, I picked Shawn Michaels, Mr. WrestleMania, one of my favorite Blu rays of all time. Same deal. You'll want to relive when you were a kid, when you were 16 years old, when Shawn Michaels was the champion of the world, the best wrestler on the planet. It'll make you happy, keep you from offing yourself on the desert island same thing with Wrestlemania 31 I'll want to relive uh, the epic party that was Wrestlemania 31 because it was an epic party and man did we drink Woo! did we drink uh, same thing at Wrestlemania 26 uh, I'll want to relive this all day long to see Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker uh, part 2 just fantastic uh, same thing with CM Punk I'll want to relive the story with him and John Cena at Money, Bay, Money in the Bank 2011, one of my favorite times in wrestling. And the last one, I know these are odd choices, uh, Triumph and Tragedy of World Class Championship Wrestling. Now you're probably thinking like, dude, if you're on a desert island and you're suicidal and you're all alone, why would you want to watch more sad stuff? Not so much that. I want to watch wrestling and it'll make me happy because WWE wasn't the only promotion at the time. And I'd be like, you know what? Back in the early 80s, Von Erics were legends. Um, that's a good pick right there. And I won't get too sad about this stuff. I already know the story on all the Von Erics. I already know the story on, you know, David Von Erich 
going overseas and uh, having stomach issues and passing away and Mike Von Erich and uh, Chris Von Erich, you know, suicides, you know, Mike got the toxic sh shock syndrome and, and uh, you know, Chris Von Erich, you know, he, he committed suicide because he could, he thought he could never live up to his brother's footsteps. And, you know, of course, Kerry Von Erich was looking at cocaine charges and uh, he offed himself you know, at 33 in 1993, and he's been missed since. And Kevin Von Erich's the lone survivor for WCCW. So, a lot of respect for Von Erich's. So, I don't want to get off on too much of a, uh, you know, a rant on the Von Erich's, but I could talk about the Von Erich's and WCCW all day. So, anyways, that's going to be uh, 10 WWE DVDs that keep me entertained. If I'm all alone on a desert island, especially Trish and Stacy. So, Gemini, peace out. Thanks for watching.